Good evening, everyone. My name is Archana Sardana. Well, I'll just uh, go through my life, how I changed from a pampered child to whatever you can see in this video today. Well, I was born the fourth child in a family in Jammu. Being the, being the youngest, I was more pampered and always loved the attention I got from the family. Uh, my family in Jammu is a very traditional family where the ladies of the house are not allowed to go out and work. So even I was not allowed to go out alone until and unless one of the family members used to accompany me. So my, f my life drastically changed only after my marriage. After graduation, I got married to an Indian naval submariner officer. First thing, his idea about honeymooning was to go to Darjeeling and enroll in a 15-day adventure course. I used to hate that, you know, getting up at 5 in the morning and in fact I wanted to leave that time. But then one thing came into my mind. Can I give up? More than this, there was one question which was haunting me that time. That, is it the limit, only limited to where I was at the moment? The next five days, I, uh, four, uh, sorry, next two days, I gave in the best and thereafter have never looked back. The next thing I did was basic mountaineering course in Uttarkashi. Again, my husband was behind that. He had one very weird idea that if you're able to do this 28 day course of mountaineering, going through pregnancy and labor would be like a breeze. And then again, somehow I was able to qualify with an A grading. And when my first child was born, I realized that going through labor was much more easy than going through that 28 days of mountaineering course, which was pretty tough. After that, uh, again, one more weird idea that if you have to be away from all the problems in life, you have to keep doing something great, something brave. So if you don't find anything, might well go to a swimming pool, dive from that 10 meter board. You'll at least, you know, you'll, you'll know how much of courage do you have inside. And then a lot of people whom I got across to, they think that people who get into extreme adventure, they have to be sufferers. They have to suffer and then they have that kind of mind to get into extreme things. But I think they are wrong because when I did my first skydive, I, I found the profound joy. I just enjoyed that. So through, I mean, through skydive, I got the joy, happiness, the sense of freedom basically, which during normal life, I don't think so we can even, you know, even feel that way. So, and now everybody, when I get, went for skydive, everybody was like, why do you have to jump from a perfectly safe aircraft? Which is generally, you know, it seems to be very crazy. But in skydive, what happens, initial jumps, obviously the uh, this fear level is pretty high and the fun level is pretty low. But eventually when the jumps increase, your fear level decreases and your fun level becomes pretty high, which is known as adrenal rush. And then you start skydiving every time for that, you know, that feel of two minutes, that adrenal rush, which is there. So as it is, the, there were not adequate uh, facilities of skydiving in India. I had to go to US all the time because I had learned some skill which I never wanted to lose. And if you don't jump for say six months and the time period is pretty long, then you have to start all over again. You just cannot, you know, lose on that six months. So this was all and then I did my skydive with the Indian flag, which, was, which you have to do only after 200 jumps. The last time I went, I had done 120 and 80 were left. So somehow this thing I had in myself that I have to jump with the Indian flag, which nobody has done in India, uh, in US before. So I, I went with this mission and for to do that one jump, I had to do 80 more jumps. 
So when I finished 200 jump, my 200 first jump was with the Indian flag, which nobody had done before. And, and that was the time when I felt so proud, you know, somebody from India who's gone to US and doing something, you know, so patriotic. And even the people of US appreciated the kind of photographs and everything they saw about the flag, they really liked that. So after that, there was now, now what next? This is done, there has to be something more, you know, extreme. So then I went for base jump. What is base jump basically? It's an extreme adventure sport. Unlike skydive, in, unlike skydive where you have two parachutes in jump, base jump, you have one parachute and you jump from very low fixed objects. In, in case something goes wrong in base jumping, then it is not that you'll get injured, it's that you'll die. And you're very clear about it. So again comes, my husband comes in picture, he gives me the tickets, he gives me, you know, the, uh, the insurance, money, and a list of the jobs I had to go to US and do it. And the main thing was to become the first woman base jumper of India. So there's a story behind that. My husband came and uh, came in the car to drop me to the airport. And little I knew that he's already sold off that car and the bike just to fund my base jump thing. So after that, it's a history, but uh, I was able to become the first woman base jumper of India. Not only that, I am the only uh, Indian who has jumped from KL Towers with the Indian flag. So that was one more thing I mean, I could do it. After that, uh, basically, if you have a dream, that dream won't come with flowers and stuff, no? Otherwise, it's a fantasy. So all the dreams have set of obstacles. Until and unless you don't see beyond those obstacles, you are not able to fulfill your dreams. And I'm sure all of us are going through that at one phase or the other. So if you're able to come out of your comfort zone, you'll be able to fulfill your dreams. Like standing here and giving this, uh, this talk is not my comfort zone, but sitting there, all of you, you guys are all in your comfort zone, no? So after that, it was like, okay, now what next? So 2010, again with my kids, we went for a vacation to Andamans. Now it was my kids' turn. So they wanted to explore the ocean. They wanted to do skydive. And along with them, they wanted me to do skydive. Uh, sorry, scuba diving. So along with them, they wanted me to learn scuba diving. And that time, I did not know even how to swim. For me, again, push myself to something which, you know, I, I, I had fear of. I had fear of water. So you have to, to achieve something, you have to keep on pushing yourself. Push, push, push till the time you achieve that thing, right? So again, I learned swimming when they were learning and ventured out into the sea. And the way I push myself was now at the moment, I'm a master scuba diver trainer. I teach scuba diving to school kids. Now, after, uh, in over three years back, I opened a scuba diving academy where I teach the disabled uh, people also how to scuba dive and the school, school, uh, school students. After doing all these things, I learned one thing. That is, you have to go beyond your limits. What are basically the limits? That is only in your mind to what degree you have made up your mind. So in case you have to achieve anything, you have to push those limits. Yeah? And uh, that's what I've been doing, and you never know how much, you know, what all I have to do to, you know, keep my limits increasing all the time. So that is it. Thank you so much. My only thing is, as he said rightly, Explore, dream, discover. Thank you so much.